hello everybody welcome to this video um i don't know what's happening it is extremely hot today we're like only the end of may normally seen it's not even that hot here in belgium this early on but i was going to film like a more heavy eye look but since it's so hot i just wanted to film something light and airy so that's the plan for today i am going to put my hair out of my face a lot of my eyes are watering because the light is so i'm sitting in front of a big window and the light is so bright that my eyes are like woman what are you doing to us but anyways let's start off and since i know that we are going to be outside this afternoon i am going to start off with my filorha this is the uv defense urban sun care youth plus dark spots it's an spf of 50 plus which is so important because this helps like to stop aging so much such an important step in your routine and it really takes no effort. I also apply it down my neck because um, we want to help that neck also to like not age that quickly. So yeah. And I think that I once went to a uh, Filoraga like ladies night where they give you information about the products. And I think that they told us that it's not just an SPF that it's also packed with some skincare products to make sure that it benefits your skin there and that's on that so yeah i always apply a SPF of 50 plus because it's important 20 or 30 is in my opinion especially for your face not enough Okay, for foundation, I am going to go in with the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, all oil-free. It also has an SPF of 20, but as I said, it's not enough. That's why I applied this one. And this is in 1W1 Porcelain. I did a review on it. I will link it uh, up here or up there. I don't know. In one of these corners. And um, I really, really, really enjoy it. I have used it almost every day since I have posted that review because it's just easy and since the weather has been so nice I am just loving the more natural-ish because my makeup never is 100% looking natural you can always tell that I am wearing some makeup but you know this more skin that doesn't look too caked up and too full coverage. Now I am taking my Maybelline Superstay full coverage under eye concealer. This one is in ivory and this one is light ivory. I am going to take mainly underneath my eyes. Also like not too much and place a little bit on the places where I need a little bit of coverage, but because this one is too light and this one is pretty dark, I mix them on the places where I just do it to add a little bit of coverage. And as you can see, like this is already on the glowier side and in combination with this underneath, it gives you like that really healthy glowy skin because that SPF, that SPF just glows. Um, as you can see, the coverage is medium, especially with the concealer that I have placed down there. But it's like that Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer just looks so skin-like. So that's what I like, even though you can tell that I have something on my face. It just doesn't look like a full-on, full-coverage foundation. So yeah. Now I am going to go in with some Bronze Goddess Liquid Bronzer. Take some. This is such a convenient little palette because 
if I do it on the back of my hand, usually it gets like all over my clothes because I forget it's on the back of my hand and then I wipe. Taking some on the same brush. And you know, all the usual places. And now, moving on to liquid blush. This is a NARS Luster liquid blush. You probably have also seen it in that same review video from the Laurent Mercier one. And oh, I love this. I love the shade of it. And I was one who used to hate blush. I never wore blush and now I can't get enough of it. So yeah, just again taking a little bit on my palette and I'm being lazy and going in again with that same brush because why not? It's up to you. I love the tone of this blush. It's such a beautiful summer shade. Okay, we are going to leave the skin at this for now. This is the All Day Lipstick Number no. 10 Coral Tangerine Lipstick by Essie Lauder, and I am going to apply it now before I do the next steps in my makeup because this is a beautiful orange shade and I want to know how it looks on my face I guess to see how much I want to balance it out how heavy I want to go on the eyes the freckles the you know so yeah I'm not going to apply it with a lip liner because this is not a matte lipstick not a very very full coverage in color lipstick it just gives you it's an easy lipstick, you know, sometimes you have those lipsticks that you really need to have a good lip line set before you go in with the lipstick. This is just throw it in your purse, throw it on. I guess that's also because it's an orange shade, but it's not too orange and it is creamy and not a matte lipstick. So it's a little bit more forgiving. And these days I think that it is a little bit more of a trend to sometimes have that more blurry lip line instead of that really really crisp one if it comes to colors like this of course with like a full-on red and all you have like that crisp lip line but sometimes i don't mind it if it looks a little bit worn out and not like perfectly in place if you understand what i mean <laughs> I love these kinds of colors. Moving on to the eyes. I'm going to prime with my Painterly Paint Pot because um, it's hot and my eyelids get even more crazy and oily and all of that fun stuff when it's so hot outside. So I definitely need a base to keep it all in place. For the eyes. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Beauty palette because this is just an ideal palette for super basic. I don't mean it in a bad way, but it has all your basic shades that you need for a light eye, which is what I'm planning on doing. Because I don't think that this lip requires a lot of things going on on the eyes, just a soft something to define the eyes and that's it. So I'm going to go in with the matte shade of Soup of the axis and just just to give the eye like a little little something of definition but not much because um, I don't want it <laughs> just as simple as that I'm going to run that also with the big same fluffy brush this is a Morphe M441 just like again to give it something but nothing too intense of crazy. Oh, I forgot to zoom you guys in again. 
it's nothing special. It really isn't. And now just taking a little bit of the Story Matte Shade because uh, to keep in the orange tone. Put the clean brush and just going over everything to soften it up. Okay, for funsies, for when the sun hits your eyes, I am going to take the aura in the sequin row and just take a little bit of that because it has like a very, very fine, fine glitter in it. So I think when we're sitting outside and the sun hits your eye, it just gives a little, little defined shimmer and shine to it, but nothing too crazy. It's just going to make it pop a little bit. It's just as easy as that. And of course, there are a lot of palettes that have these neutral shades. Just pick whatever you like. I am going to go in with my Lash Paradise, the waterproof version, because I'm sweaty, <laughs> sweaty weather. So I last week and I used this one. It was also so hot, and my eyes started tearing up from the sun, and I was like, ah. My mascara went everywhere, so learned my lesson. I bought the waterproof one for summertime. The only problem is I like this version more than this one, so hmm. I need to find a good waterproof mascara. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. I just, uh, this one, I live. This one, <sighs> it just doesn't, Give my lashes a beautiful length, curl, volume, and it clumps them together. And even when I go in with a, a clean spoolie to try and brush them open so that they're not stuck together, it's just... Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. If you know a good waterproof mascara, help girl out. Now I'm going in with the Gimme Brow. Very simple. Not going to fill in my brow too much, just a tinted moist, uh, moisturizer, a tinted brow gel. And I'm brushing the hairs up to give it a bit more of a natural and a volume this kind of look. Like a nice and bushy brow. I'm doing the same on the other side, of course, because that would be weird. Okay, so that's it for the eye part. Now that my skin has set a little bit, it feels a little bit tacky, but not too much. I am just going to powder my T-zone because I like the look that my skin has now because I love just an all cream base. But um, I don't trust it to leave it like this because I am a little bit more of a drier skin so I think I could do it but my makeup would last beautifully all afternoon if we're sitting outside in the heat. Like if it was just a normal day I would leave it like this but since it is so hot I feel like I have to powder a little bit to keep it in place. Going in with a little bit of Bahama Mama just to shape my face a little bit more. And just see that, 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 that little tiny bit in there. And a little bit down the nose. I'm going to take on my finger the smallest amount of a little bit of a Fenty Beauty because that's it. I'm not going to apply powder blush because I've noticed this blush, the cream blush, lasts beautifully. My cream bronzer probably will last also, so... Oh, I will not. No, no, I won't do it. I just take a little bit of the diamond... Which one? How many carrots highlighter? And just 
that bit on the high high places because my skin already has that glow and I don't want to overdo it too. And now the thing that I wanted to test out which I'm pretty scared of because I don't want to ruin my makeup but I'm still going to try it yes it is, yes, yes. I wasn't eh, I'm, mm, yeah I'm just going to try it I want to put some pink freckles on which with eyeshadow I have already done it but it doesn't last as great on my face and I just thought what if I use my dirty blonde? Like, would this work for freckles? Like, ah! I'm going to test it on the back of my hand first. Ooh! And then tap it. I'm going to try it. Yes, it is. So I'm taking a little bit of the MAC Dirty Blonde Eyebrow Gel on a pointy little detailer brush, eyeliner brush and just hope I don't mess this up. Just tap a few and then pat it in to soften them up. I think this is going to work. Oh, a little bit of a big one. And I think I'm always overthinking where I want to place them, but freckles are just so random that I think that maybe I should just let my hand go a little bit more crazy and place them, because I always want to make sure that it looks, you know, as perfect freckly as it can be, but I'm just gonna go for it. I'm going to keep doing this and I'll be back. Okay, I don't know if you can tell on camera because uh, the lights probably blur it out. Can you see it better like this? I don't know. Yeah, you can... You can see I like I just turned the lights down because the lights were cancelling it out. Um, I think you can see it now on camera. I tried to keep it pretty light so that it stays a little bit natural because on my nose like this one is a real freckle and I think that the shade I think that the shade Dirty Blonde by MAC it's actually pretty great for freckles at least on my skin tone because it's pretty close with like my natural few freckles that I have like if you even can call them that but this is the effect it has given me and I really like it because on camera you might not be able to tell as much but in real life it just makes it look a lot more natural on your skin because you have the illusion that your freckles peek through so in your head you're like oh she's not wearing that much makeup but they're fake the only thing that I am going to do now is take a little bit of the peachy blush and my little blush brush where are you? Oh, why do I lose all my brushes all the time? Hello? Ah. And because they naturally have a little bit more pigmentation around the freckle area, I'm just going to add a little bit more, eh, eh. you know, just that, eh, eh. dab dab. Should I go in with a little bit of a powder freckle just to make sure that there are some different tones. I'm taking a little bit of the Soothe and the Tati palette that I use on my eyes and just... Uh, yeah, 
it works in between there it works but i do like that i have used like eyebrow gel for the main base of the freckles because i think that it will last great and what i have found while i was doing the freckles with the gel that is best if you just don't really think about it hold your brush at the end and just let it tap wherever it like goes kind of because no placement of a freckle is perfect okay and then one last thing that i am going to do is take my mac spiked brow thingy and just bring back my little mark here and my lips are still intact so don't really need to touch those up and we're ready and this makeup took me like 35 minutes yeah around 35 to 40 minutes with like trying the faux freckle thing for one of the first times i did it already with a few products but never really was happy with the results so now i tried it with that which was also for a first so i think it went well and um yeah also including like talking and this and that so i think if i would do this makeup again i could probably do it in like 20 minutes so that's the fun thing about these kind of looks you can just be real quick about it yeah, but this is a finished look. I'm going to zoom in one more time to show you the freckles. I really love this lip shade. See, it just, I think it gives the skin something a little bit more natural and playful. So, it really looks like I have been out in the sun. I have been burned a little bit here, but I have not because I have a sunblock on. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment possibly with a good waterproof mascara. And I really hope I see you in my next video. Bye.